Hello there, I'm Ben Cramful with the Modest Industries. We're out here at the Low Brothers Farm taking a look at their latest cotton stalk puller chopper. This machine is the, the latest design that we came out with in 2022. This latest design has uh, a number of improvements from our cotton stalk puller that we've been making since the mid 90s. Uh, first, I'm gonna talk about those different improvements here. So some of the things that make this new design of the stalk puller different than the older one are mostly for serviceability. You can really see the most of that in the, uh, the puller units here. So if we take a, a close look at the puller unit, you have the, the gearbox is in line with the puller unit shaft connected with a simple straight splined coupling as opposed to the U-joints we've used in the past. So that's easier to replace and easier to remove. Um, if you do need to replace either of these bearings here, you can remove this whole uh, puller assembly shaft by just removing the bolts that hold the bearing. So the three up top here and the two in the back, and you can remove that whole assembly. On the driven wheel side, we use a simple um, spindle and hub assembly. You can remove this bolt and the spindle will slide out the tube uh, to replace that. The, uh, this bearing down here at the bottom, it is a greasable bearing. It should get a couple shots of grease every week. You can grease that without removing the shield. The upper bearing is a sealed bearing. It does not need grease. The spindle and hub assembly, it does have a grease point on the hub, and that should also get a couple shots of grease every week. Other improvements in the new design is we use a, a single chain to connect the rotor to the, uh, the main jack shaft. So this is a ground driven implement and um, using the single chain instead of the two that we've had in the past uh, is just less parts that could wear out. You have real, real easy access to all the gearboxes and drive lines with this shield right here. So part of your daily maintenance is you're going to want to grease this clutch right here. This is overrunning clutch. You have one grease fit in there another grease fit in there. Give that a couple shots of grease daily. And then the drive lines in between the gearboxes, they have one, one grease point on the, uh, on the drive line crosses right there. So that should be greased daily. The, the gearboxes themselves are filled with oil from the factory. They, they rarely need any additional oil. Um, any additional oil in them, but you can access a fill port on the top here. There'll be a cutout in the sheet metal for it. Right around here. Little thing about the uh, the performance of the machine, what this, this is an overrunning clutch. What it does is if you're running the machine uh, and you go through a wash, and these wheels ever hit the ground where you know the ground prevents them from turning. This, this overrunning clutch is gonna make a loud clicking sound. You'll hear it from the tractor, and that's just the clutch slipping so that um, so that it doesn't damage any of the any of the driveline parts within here. The clutch will, will slip if, if this wheel is, is stopped up. There, there are a couple adjustments you can make to the machine uh, to maximize performance. Um, I guess for starters, the six row machine has adjustable row spacing. So if you do need to sell the machine again, you can uh, move the gearbox, or you can move the whole puller units um, either way for 36 inch or 38 inch row spacing. Uh, the details of how to do that are in the operator's manual. But for as far as um, performance in the field, the tires are what grab the stalk. Um, you generally want to start out with a pressure of 26 PSI. That's what it's going to come with from the factory. If you get in harder ground or drier conditions, 
and you and and you see that the stalks are not getting pulled properly, you can increase the pressure up to uh, all the way up to 32 psi. I wouldn't recommend going any higher than 32 psi because you'll add um, you'll add more wear on the bearings. You want to wait for a rain um, for the ground to get softer if you need to go any further than that. You can adjust the the inclination of the machine when it's in the ground, whether the machine is tilted a little bit forwards or tilted a little bit back, basically controls how high these wheels are above the ground. Um, if you're in really short stalks, you'll, you'll want to um, decrease the length of the, uh, the top length of the three-point hitch. That'll bring these tires a little closer to the ground to really grip the short stalks. If the stalks are, are longer, then you can you'd be okay with having a, a longer length in the, the three-point hitch there. One final adjustment is where the chopping rotor is mounted. So it has two positions. It can either be in the forward position closer to the tires or in the rear position further away from the tire. In general, when the rotor is further away from the tires, that's good for longer cotton stalks. Um, you'll see better flow of the cotton stalks from the, the wheels to the rotor um, when it's in the right position. Right now you see the rotor is in the forward position. This is the routing of the chain for the forward position. If the rotor is in the rear position, um, you don't need to change the length of the chain. You just change the routing of the chain. The chain will just route over one of these idlers if the, chain, if the rotor is in the rear position. All right, one, one more point of maintenance uh, in this area is the, the big bearings holding the rotor. Uh, you do want to grease those every 50 hours. It's one of those that doesn't need grease very often, but it does need a, a little bit. You know, that may, may be about every week or so. And then also you, you will want to lubricate your drive, drive chain as well, make it last, last longer. Okay, moving to the rear of the machine. Uh, this machine is ground driven. This rotor has blades on it, rolls over the ground. That's what chops up the cotton stalks, but it also drives the wheels. One of the improvements we made uh, with this new design is a new mount, new uh, blade mount design. This new blade mount uses a bent half inch plate. That's very strong. Uh, to hold the blades and it you know won't won't wear out and won't break on you it's part of the adjustments of the machine we we have the the rotor and the weight tank can be filled with water so if you get into really hard ground really dry ground then you can start by filling the the rotor with water there's a plug in the middle and if you still want if you still need to uh if the ground's still too dry to chop the stalks, then you can add water to the, the weight tank here. And that'll make the, the back end of the machine even heavier and make ensure that it cuts through the cotton stalks. All right, I hope everyone found this video informative. Thanks for watching. If you have further questions, please read the, the operator's manual in your parts catalog. And um, feel free to call your, your local Amatis representative uh, if you still have other questions. Thank you.